Things aren't getting better. My students are depressed and cynical. It isn't just what is happening in gaming, but everything in general. I understand what you mean. I've noticed the mood on campus also. What can we do to help them? Simple. Teach them how to help themselves. But how do we do that? They feel like they're powerless. They are anything but powerless. In fact, they are more powerful than they realize. It is the powers that be who do not want them to know this fact. They want young people to think they are powerless. Because they know if the youth of this world rose up to change the world they could not stop them. But they tried, with movements like Occupy Wall Street and protests, none of which actually did anything. I disagree. Occupy Wall Street opened the way for the Bernie Sanders movement. While the powers that be stole the election from him, they didn't steal the energy behind his ideals. They cannot take that away. Young people need to understand that it wasn't Bernie Sanders that gave them the power, but that the power of their movement came from within themselves. They don't need to rally behind a charismatic leader to combine their will to change the world. If anything, Bernie's fall needed to happen to release them so they could carry on the momentum on their own. What they decide to do in November could change the world. They have the power. They don't have to accept the lesser of two evils. It is within their power to change the status quo, to break the dominance of the two-party system and thus usher an actual change. What do they have to do? Don't vote for either major party candidate, for one thing. Neither of them are suitable for office. Throw their support behind someone else. There are currently two good choices who are anything but establishment. Congressional seats are also going to be up for grabs. If the candidate is a career politician, don't vote for them. If they're establishment, or have ties to the banks, don't vote for them. Vote for no candidates who have ties to the establishment. But, a lot of them feel that their votes don't really matter. The sad part is they're probably right. But that is no excuse to give up. Yes, the system is rigged. Yes, the establishment violently protects its power. But their hold on the power is hanging by a thread. The youth of this world have the power to break the thread. But, only if they choose to stand up and never back down. You make it sound like you want them to go to war. It is a war, though. Not a war with guns, but with ideas. The establishment represents old outdated ways of thinking. Their ideology is not compatible with the sociological changes happening to our world because of the internet. They don't see these changes as good, but as an attack against their firmly held beliefs, which is why they want to censor the internet. In order for our society to move forward these old ideologies must be pushed aside. The youth of this world have the power to do this. The young voters of today will be the politicians of tomorrow. They will reject the old ways. The establishment will resist, possibly even violently before it is all said and done. Despite all this, our youth need to hold fast, never back down, never surrender, never give up. The establishment might bring guns to bear, it will only show the world what they actually stand for. By holding fast and refusing to stoop to their level the youth of this world will prevail. Do you really believe the establishment will lash out against our youth for trying to bring change? They already are. Look at all the young people locked up in privately owned prisons that operate for profit. Look at our poor neighborhoods where deliberate barriers against climbing the social ladder result in violent crime. And don't get me started with how the police treat our youth. Then, there are the hundreds of thousands of young people who face the crushing debt of college loans. So, yes, the establishment has already started its attack. My god, I had no idea. What they don't understand is, the more they struggle to stay in power, the quicker they hasten their downfall. Which is why our young people need to decide that they will not back down, they will not give up, until this fight is won. A fight, not with violence, but with compassion and conviction. There are so many young people, how could they possibly lose if they all stood together as one? Precisely, you get it now. Yes, I get it. I know what I need to do to motivate our young people to get up and get involved. Yes. The first thing they can do is get out and vote in November. There will be several races going on during and after the presidential election. 
get involved, rally behind candidates who aren't from either major party who have truly new ideas. Run for local office in your city or county. Make sure people know about the alternative candidates who aren't from the two major parties. Go door to door if you have to and tell anyone who will listen about these alternative candidates and what they stand for. Above all, through all of this, elevate and support one another. Because in unity they will have strength. Thank you. This really helps me out. Now I know what to say to my students. Good. The more we motivate them to stand up for what they believe in and support one another the sooner they can change this world for the better. Because this goes beyond the bad behavior of the game studios and the state of the gaming industry. This affects the whole world, they are a part of that world, and united they have the power to transform it. It is up to us, the older generations who understand it, to motivate them and show them that they can do this. I agree. For now on I will motivate all of our young people to stand up for their future. Because if they don't, who will?